Okay, so now we are here with the fight with Garcia and Lipinets. Yes. What are, when this fight came to fruition, what were your early thoughts when you thought about this matchup and uh, your guy getting in the ring with <coughs> Garcia? To be honest with you, I don't worry about my guy. Mm -hmm. I know what I got. I know he can fight. Mm -hmm. So I'm not worried. I, I mean, the, to me, the other guy has to worry, not mm -hmm. me. Not, not me because I know what my guy can do. Even though he's only had 13 fights, mm -hmm. he's, he's very up here, he's very smart. And he listens well. Whatever I, I tell him in the corner, he never doubts it. He does it. When you look at Mikey Garcia, he's been kind of fluctuating. He goes from one way to this way to that way. Right. Do you find that that's a detriment as a trainer who is No, not if you can fight. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I also think the inactivity, mm -hmm. he hasn't been in a real fight in a long time. Mm -hmm. And when you look at his past victories, what do you consider his last real fight? Do you consider the fight against Broner a real fight? What do you consider his last real fight since you said... To be honest, I, I, I really couldn't answer that because I really haven't really watched him that much. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you. Of course. I mean, so if the Rojas fight was a joke. Mm -hmm. Rojas was petrified. The Broner fight was a joke for six or seven rounds because Broner didn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. But once Broner put his foot on the gas, mm -hmm. different ball game. All right. You can see the rust. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen when Sugar's put on the gas for round one? Then we're going to see. Obviously, Mikey Garcia is more known to American fight fans than, uh, than Sergey. Mm -hmm. Instead of asking you about weaknesses, because obviously you don't want to disclose what you plan to do, what do you think he does well, and what do you think your guy does well? I'm, I'm going to answer that because I've never really, really watched Mikey. Okay, well, what do you think Sergey does exceptional that has distinguished him and made him a champion? He listens. Mm -hmm. No matter what I tell him to do, like I say, he doesn't question it, he doesn't second guess it, he does it. Mm -hmm. I mean, even sometimes he give me a crazy look like, why you want me to do this? Mm -hmm. Just try it. Then he'll do it, and once it's successful, he doesn't complain. As you go from opponent to opponent each fight, in this case with Mikey Garcia, <coughs> do you change anything in the way that you prepare for the fights, or do you have a consistent plan that you take from beginning to end on how do you conduct the camp? You change, prepare? you change a little bit. Me and myself, like I might do this today, then tonight I'll be thinking of something. I say I'm just going to focus on this, that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to cover all bases. I don't look for just one thing. See, a lot of people look for just one thing that the guy's going to do. And then you prepare for that, then if you don't do it, then what, you, what happens? Mm -hmm. You can't call timeout and say, let's go to the playbook. No. Mm -hmm. So you got to prepare for any and everything. And if you prepare for any and everything, no matter what the guy does, you have an answer for it. Mike has identified uh, Sergey as the bigger guy in the fight, and they're going to focus in bringing in heavy, heavy partners for sparring. Right. As the smaller guy, is it your intent to bring in smaller guys to work on speed for this fight? No, nah, we're just going to bring in regular guys. I'm not looking at big, tall, short, whatever. No, we're just bringing the guys that's going to give us good work. That's the key. And lastly, for this fight, do you feel that he needs to win a spectacular faction? Pardon? You have to jump in here with him. No, no. No, you're going to mess up your film. <laughs> and lastly, in a preparation for this fight, you know, so much focus has been these days on knockouts and spectacular wins and all these things that uh, fighters have to do for the audience. Do you, do you feel that he needs to win a spectacular fashion to get a win against Mike Garcia in Texas? The three Gaddy Ward fights with the distance. Mm -hmm. Neither one, were, neither one was a knockout, of course, with the distance. Mm -hmm. so they were great fights, ten round fights, and the crowd paid more. I mean, the audience paid more each fight to see the re, the, the rematch, the trilogy. Mm -hmm. So the kids go in there making a good fight. Now, knockout or however you get it, I mean, it's it's better. But if not, the kids just at the end of the day is get the victory. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank Always you very a much. Pleasure. Appreciate it.